da. Let's have a look at that there. Let me join that up to there, and we can grab that and move that one all the way down to there. And we can get rid of that edge just on there, like so. And we can just start to sort of tune all this up again. Okay, so just got to spread these polys out a little bit more, and it also enable us to uh, shape the uh, the palm as well. Sort of like the pads of your palm, just under here. Okay, like so. So, just want to balance out the polys as well. So, if you can make them equal, well, as near as the sort of the right size as much as you can, um, that will also help you uh, when you come to do the uh, UVs for your models as well. So, it's very useful to uh, have things at the right size. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So we just need to go around and have a look at that little bit of geometry uh, on the top that we left uh, a minute ago. Okay, so that's not bad, looking pretty good. Okay, so it's just this small part here, uh, I'm not happy with this uh, at all. Uh, what I can do is I'm just going to look at spinning some faces around just so we can delete some geometry. Uh, as well, and I've got a small script here from High End 3D, and it enables you to really get rid of edges and stuff like that, and just see what you need to do uh, with your model. So if we can grab those edges, mm, that's not too bad there. Okay. Let's just see what we can do. Get rid of that, just there. So let's have a look there. Let's shape that up, and then let's have another look. See if we can spin those round. Let's grab those. That one there, and spin those round. Let's have a look. that face and that one. Let's delete that edge, let's have a look. Okay, so what we can do It's not too bad going up to there. Let's try those two there. Then we might be able to bring those back in. Okay, what we got there, that's pretty good. Okay, so th these are the sort of areas that uh, will crop up. There we go. Oh, had it there. And just there. That's better. There we go. That's better. Much, much better. So I can now shape that up. So as I was saying, yeah, you can get areas like this that are going to crop up. 
um, it's just a matter of uh, spinning faces, deleting edges, uh, stuff like that, and uh, hopefully it should all uh, sort of fall into place. So I'm just going to just fine tune this little area here. And then hopefully the hand model is all done. Um, obviously, if this was uh, coming off of uh, an actual body that you've already built, um, the geometry here would all be probably maybe a little bit different. So, again, by downloading the uh, spin faces uh, script from High End 3D, um, it's a very useful tool uh, to have uh, if you're uh, into the modeling side of uh, 3D. Um, it's very, very useful, um, and uh, it can. Uh, help you to optimize your meshes uh, for better modeling. Um, it can also it, re, it reorders your edge flow uh, enabling you to get rid of waste polygons or edges and stuff like that and uh, it is very very useful and I, I'd thoroughly recommend that. So it's the Spin Faces uh, Mel from uh, HighEnd3D.com and it's free which is really cool. Okay, so it's pretty much done. Just going to tweak the tops of this. Just to get a little bit of tendons sort of going on in there. Okay, like so. And there we go. That's pretty much there, I think. And what we do need to do before we finally finish out is we need to add one more set of loops just in there, just for the creases on the uh, underside of the uh, fingers and we'll just pop those in just in there so we'll do these one at a time and just going to push those up as well like so and just move them across Push those up in there, and the same with these guys as well. Whoops, uh, a bit of a stray edge going on vertex there. So, again, just going to push these in and push those up. Again, just going to tweak the form just ever so slightly. And that is our hair model. Uh, my name is Jason Edwards, and uh, I'd just like to uh, thank you all for watching on behalf of Simply Maya. Many thanks.